huh? basically built this out of recycled wood and added to high post which are on the ground right here now you will only use two of these sticks you will drill each on each end of your bed these high ones without holes and only use one to put holes in it like shown right here here we have the post that I got from Lowe's or Home Depot. You can get it from for about three to four dollars per post. And I drilled holes with my drill for the string to go attached. Okay, now this is landscaping material as well as the post that I put up to the sides without holes. And the one on top has the holes in there I attached to the top of the frame. First, we gathered some wood and old logs from around the property and put them to the bottom of the bed. And then we added mulch to the as a second layer. And then you can see next we have our chicken compost with worm casting as well in it that we collected throughout the year. And now we're going to add that to the top as well. This is a very nutrient rich compost that tomatoes absolutely thrive on. So we highly recommend this type of compost. Now we also collected some leaves. These will actually break down throughout the course of the plant's growing season and help feed the plant its nutrients. Now before this wood we added another layer of dirt and then we added some layers of just old wood, old wood firewood that we use and then we repeated the process over from the beginning and added more dirt on top, compost and mulch to finish off the bed. Now you want to fill the entire top about, I would say about six to seven inches of dirt on top. Once you do that, you want to water thoroughly, very, very well. Now after this set, we let the bed sit for about two weeks, two and a half weeks to sit and everything to settle. We'll leave a link in the description for how we started our tomatoes in our greenhouse below. Now here we have the tomato twine. This particular string is really good for tomatoes to climb, uh, cherry tomatoes to climb because it's hairy as well as the vine itself and it's easier to climb. Now we put it through the holes and like shown here, we put it all the way to the bottom for the tomato to attach to. Here we have the tomato that is ready to be planted after a few weeks. Now we have planted the tomato and with this string, you want to loosely tie the bottom of the base of your plant. Very, very loose. So it won't shingle or suffocate the plant. And just leave it, just like that. And we did it with all of them. Now here we added some marigolds, which are a good insect repellent, as well as some mums. And we added an irrigate, like a hose for watering the actual roots because tomatoes do not like water on their leaves at all. They will call them, cause them to get disease and die off really quick. So we recommend you put a water at the bottom of your tomatoes. Now here in Tennessee, we have quite a bit of heavy winds around fall, I would say in spring. So in order to protect the young plants, we put some side landscape material on the top and just um, stapled it to the very top frame to make it like a little protecting shield. Now this is two weeks after planting, as you can see how healthy and the leaves have got 
and this is after five weeks of planting and I added some tomato clips as they're rapidly growing up the strings so they can be guided up to the top this is after about two months two and a half months after the plant tomatoes were planted as you can see they are incredibly tall alhamdulillah and now we will have to remove this landscaping material mashallah the plants have got really tall healthy the leaves are very green and only getting taller i added more clips as they get taller to guide them to the top and they won't fall to the sides Now tomatoes are a very hardy plant and when if you start them in a greenhouse several weeks before you plant them into the ground, it they actually thrive better and they root a lot better if you start them indoor or in a greenhouse first. Now this is another update. This is two and a half months after planting. And as you can see, we are getting flowers as well as small cherry tomatoes growing on the tomato plants. Alhamdulillah. Now with this crop, and we had tomatoes in other areas as well, but with this particular raised bed, we were able to produce pounds and pounds of tomatoes. Alhamdulillah. And that took us through a whole entire season of tomatoes cherry tomatoes so we were like cherry tomatoes out we were able to give some to community and neighbors as well and they're extremely delicious i think this idea for this type of raised bed is excellent for any area because it thrives and the nutrients we didn't have to feed them nutrients the entire time it was planted because it was provided through the soil we provided it when we first planted it alhamdulillah this is after the plant season was over of growing but still it was producing a lot of tomatoes i mean a lot of tomatoes alhamdulillah we highly recommend this method if you want a lot of cherry tomatoes and if you make a lot of things like canned tomatoes, tomato sauces, and paste, we highly recommend this method. I will show you just a few of our tomatoes that we did produce. Alhamdulillah. These are some of the cherry tomatoes. We sat on the table to ripen to turn red more. We preferably like picking them green and then they turn red within a few days. We made smoothies, we made juices, and they were incredibly delicious. After, even in the winter time, beginning of the winter, we still were producing tomatoes. They were never ending, <laughs> alhamdulillah. And ripened them, and they turned red, and that was it. And this is the tomatoes in the winter time. As you can see, they're kind of yellowing, but still producing. Highly recommend this method. We're even able to make some oven sun-dried tomatoes, as well as canned tomatoes and we I will link that video in the description and as well we made cherry tomato sauce and delicious cherry tomato soup with a dollop of sour cream thanks for joining us